Hello everyone and welcome to the Extreme Tick channel guys. So for today's video I'm gonna show you a couple tips uh, and tricks with a stick on uh, this 12 inch uh, SCAD 80 joint. Uh, as you can see the TIG was uh, root hot and uh, two passes of fill. Now I'm gonna do a uh, fill with a 532 7018. I'm using 170 amps for this one. I'm gonna do first bead on the bottom and then the second bead on the top. So pretty much uh, the, the inclination, uh, stick inclination, also known as uh, electrode angle. Uh, that's an important factor to consider when welding, especially in horizontal. The angle at which the electrode is uh, held can affect the weld bead shape, uh, penetration and uh, overall quality of the weld. So basically it's like 5 to 15 degrees uh, when you're welding on a, on a horizontal. But especially for this uh, first pass fill when you got lots of room, it's pretty much like a flat welding. Uh, you want to give that stick out even, lead, even a higher angle. Let's say 30, 40. 50 degrees all depends uh, depends from the joint configuration uh, for your uh, welding technique everything manipulation so for the second one on the top part as you can see I manipulated uh, rod up and down uh, slowly I keeping that around 10 10 degrees uh, inclination uh, I want to fill up I want to create that uh, bead shape uh, just to fill it in properly to fill it even more to put more material deposit and uh, later on I'm gonna switch to quarter inch uh, stick. Uh, the rod size and uh, stick inclination uh, plays crucial role guys. Uh, speed up the game, uh, speed up the process. You don't want to spend all night doing uh, 332 on this joint. Uh, it's just a waste of time and life. You want to do it fast and run away from the welding fumes. Okay, as I said, uh, this is quarter inch uh, stick. You can start on the top or you can start at the bottom. Uh, for a quarter inch, you're gonna fill it up really faster, way faster. And uh, this is the first pass I'm gonna do on the bottom. And I'm just gonna stack on the top of the each bead uh, all the way to the top side of the bevel. So this is for the first pass. Uh, the angle is uh, around 10 to 15 uh, degrees and the amperage I'm using for a quarter inch is uh, three, 320, 320 amps. This is the first bit, as you can see it's almost uh, pretty much all the way to that edge on the bottom uh, side of the bevel. So I'm gonna do a second one here on the top of the first pass and then we're gonna left enough room uh, to fill up that uh, top part. So it's gonna be like three passes and pretty much you almost feel to flash uh, probably it's gonna stay just a little bit like a uh, shoulder on the top that's gonna be filled up with a smaller uh, diameter electro probably 532 uh, just to fill that up okay now i'm gonna run a second second pass uh, the second pass of that uh, fill just uh doing on the top of that first one you can manipulate uh, a little bit just up and down to have that uh, nice and good strong bond uh, with uh, with the weld with the bottom weld and, uh, and the top weld and this is the third pass I'm going on the top uh, between that bevel and the bottom uh, and the bottom weld you kind of try to dig it in just uh, Putting in as much material as I said, uh, 320 amps. Uh, it's going in. It's going in deep and strong. So you don't have to be worried. There's not much, uh, not much sparks, which is good. So it means it goes uh, nice and smooth in. As I said, you always got to change inclination. It all depends, uh, you know, how your travel speed, uh, arc length. That's all uh, crucial things. Uh, you got to be uh, keep all that on your mind, especially in the field. You know, all the obstacles and uh, stuff. So, kind of maintain the same uh, the same arc length, the same uh, travel speed. As I said, this is the three pass with a quarter inch. It's pretty much almost filled to flush. Uh, now on the top, as I said, it's going to have that shoulder. And this is what I fill up with a 532 rod. 
Now it's pretty much filled to flesh. It's a little bit uneven, but uh, with a quarter inch rod, you're gonna feel all these uh, uneven spots. Uh, easy, just start properly with the first pass, second, third, fifth. It's gonna be probably six passes altogether. And uh, change inclination. As I said, uh, the inclination it uh, affects your uh, bead shape. So lower inclination, uh, your bead is gonna be wider. Higher inclination, that means even up to 90 degrees in inclination, is gonna make your uh, bead shape smaller, and it's gonna blend in uh, nice, especially for a horizontal guys. Uh, you don't want to have like a big buildup on your on your uh, on your cap on your passes. Okay, I did uh, three passes here, as you can see. Uh, it's not a beautiful, but it's uh, that's stick. It's hard to make it really nice, and beautiful, and it doesn't have to be as long as it's uh, you know what you're doing and you know it's uh, good and it's. Uh, quality weld so I three passes and I'm gonna do a fourth one I'm gonna be five five passes before that final one the final is uh, is a crucial is I'm gonna switch to probably the the smaller diameter rod and that's uh, where that inclination is gonna kick in it's gonna be 90 degrees inclination I'm gonna show you that guys later as I said uh, just uh, keep it nice keep it tight usually the arc length the rule of thumb is uh, depends from the diameter of the rod you're welding so in this case let's say quarter inch so quarter inch arc length one eight one eight arc length you don't want to go higher or uh, or lower kind of kind of you're gonna even see by the by just uh, looking at the weld puddle how the puddle behaves and uh and the sound okay so for the top part this is what i'm talking about this is the inclination it's gonna be just like that not 10 degrees not 15 degrees it's gonna be like almost 90 degrees and this is what you want you want a nice smooth it's just gonna blend in between that uh, base metal or uh, pipe and that uh, the weld bead it's gonna give you that nice nice uh, good profile of your uh, bead shape It's gonna cover all those uh, undercuts on the top uh, that was just created by the heat, and uh, it's not. It was not the final pass anyway. As I said, this is 532 for that last pass on the top. As you can see, it just covered all those uh, grinding marks and undercuts. Just uh, run the uh, buffing wheel each pass, uh, stop starts, you can even use use a grinder, just uh, grind every stop start. Uh, that's just a good habit, you know, you can, especially on the stops, starts, you can always have some uh, maybe uh, porosity and stuff like that. And that's it, uh, that's it pretty much, uh, this is six passes. For the cap, uh, that's the horizontal one. As I said, try to try to you know play guys, play with your inclination, see how your uh, bit shape uh, works out for you. Do a little bit fine tuning with your amperage, and uh, that's it. Hope you guys like it, enjoy it. Uh, subscribe, like, and see you in the next one. Bye. Take care.